In this video, we're going to learn about the check button widget into Kinter. Now, you would all know the check button. We've all seen them, little boxes that you put ticks on and ticks off. And we're going to create a window like this where when you tick on, it's going to display one, and when it ticks off, it displays zero. So, let's look at the code. As per usual, we've imported to Kinter. We've created our window with the usual setup. Um, we have also got the main loop going and I have created the label for the top up here. So that's that label there and we've packed it in. We've also got the label down the bottom here that displays the ones and the zeros down here. And this whole part in the middle here is our actual check button. So let's see how we create a check button. Now there's something a bit different about this widget to the previous ones we've had. Um, and let me explain what. So, there is a state that this button is in. So that state can either be on or off. And what the computer needs is for um, it to be informed, the program needs for it to be informed when that button has changed. So this is what they call in TK a tracing or a traced variable. So we don't have trace variables in Python, but tkinter has created um, a, a way of doing this. And that's what this code is here. We are creating a variable called check control, and we're using a type of function from tkinter, which is going to trace this variable. And what it will do is that it will update the value in that variable every time that something has happened to this check button. So it starts with nothing, but then when I click on it, this will change, this, this value for check control change to one, and it will change to zero automatically. So let's see how that is, how we do that. So you'll see the check button in here. I've created the check button. Um, I don't have to reference it because um, in the function, I reference the, the value that's in the control here. So we don't have to give it a label or give it a name. So it's packed into root. Um, the text is click this check button, as you'll see, click this check button. Um, now the variable, this is important. The variable is check control, and as I said, check control needs to be of the type inter var, which is a traced variable, which will let it know, it will update once it automatically, every time it's clicked, it will automatically update the value in check control. Um, what's more, when it's checked, we want it to run the command display, so which is a function up here, and I want to pack that into our root folder, our root window. So I come up here, let's look at the display function, which is called by the event handler within the check button, and you can see the display function. The first thing to do is that the check value equals check control which is our traced variable down here and dot get so that gets whatever the current value is within here and it will assign that value to check value and then what we're going to do is we are going to display that by changing the value of the value label so value label dot configure text equals a string of checks value check value because remember it is going to be an integer that's why it's an int var um, so we need to convert it into a, a string and display it as text within that label. So there we are. So I'm going to close that one down and run it from here now. And we should have our window pop up with our check button that reacts to our clicking. So there we are. That's how we create check buttons.